everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to talk today about the inflation premium. We actually define inflation as the general price index of goods and services as the percentage increase in the price of that basket of goods and services over a period of time. Because of this, investors who buy financial assets must earn a higher interest rate to compensate them for holding the investment. In other words, they need to get an interest rate greater than the rate of inflation, and this higher rate is what we refer to as the inflation premium. So, for example, if the one-year rate on T-bills is 2.15%, then we know that this is referred to as the nominal interest rate, often represented by the small letter I. The real risk-free rate is 0.75%. This real risk-free rate is the rate that investors would hold an asset if inflation was at 0%. So the difference between this nominal interest rate, the 2.15%, and the real risk-free rate of 0.75% is the premium that investors have to get in order to compensate for inflation. So in order to find the inflation premium, we simply take the nominal interest rate, subtract the real risk-free rate, and the difference between those two is the inflation premium. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks so much for watching.